talk about renewable energy and this fabulous field program that I went to the other day with my class. We had the opportunity with uh, Professor Manius in the Energy of the World program to go to uh, a hydroelectric power plant and also to an energy research lab um, to see a bunch of kind of cutting edge technology in the energy sector. There's nothing, there's not a better introduction than going there and, and watching it and touching it, so come with me. When we first walked up, there were lots of little children, families out at the beach, and then you walk out a little bit farther and that's, that's where the um, wave energy was. It was very beautiful and um, it was aesthetically pleasing. At first it kind of reminds you of like Hoover Dam, Hoover Dam or something like, you know, just a big kind of concrete wall. But then when you back up and just like see that you're in Spain, like the context of it and actually, you know, just the actual location, you know, you're in a little community. Um, just the area was just incredible. And I think that when you actually went inside, you know, you see the actual turbines and generators. Um, it, you know, it really makes you feel like you're seeing something unique. When you see, you know, oil rigs and whatnot, you don't really think of it as beautiful. But whenever I saw this, it actually was. Um, I had no idea until I went inside that energy was being produced there. This is only our fourth or fifth day of the class. We're on this ship, mm -hmm. and this is just our, we just arrived in uh, Bilbao this morning. It's a great pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for your hospitality. Yeah, you can this is, come you can come in. We will see it. So in the hydroelectric plant, we had an opportunity to see how water pressure uh, can use the air to spin turbines, which actually creates enough power to make it an entirely sustainable resource. And as the waves came up, there it was pushed through a turbine, and energy was created. Uh, this technology used there one day may be a fully sustainable resource for countries or even the world at some point. So that was really cool. And Spain's really well. That location is really one of the only places you can even actually see that. This is the only one. This is the only facility. I think it's pretty incredible that Spain has it and that I was able to go visit it. And here we are drilling thousands of meters into the ocean trying to get fossil fuels. When right here on top of the water we have um, energy that's available for us and it's renewable and it's so much better for our environment. And we especially make investments in businesses that are not attractive enough to private investors. And then in the energy uh, research lab, we have the opportunity to see some of the cutting edge technology in supergrids and power distribution. Um, we were able to see a hydrogen car. There's the new technology that allows magnetic plates, basically by creating a magnetic field in between uh, the ground and like a bus. Um, with which would have magnets on the bottom to be able to induce an electrical current in the bus. So theoretically, um, in the future, buses would be able to charge themselves, or electric buses would be able to charge themselves without actually having to stop and plug it into a grid of some sort. And I'd never seen anything like it before. Air in between, you can you move your hand in between it, um, and these lights were on, which was really incredible. There was actually nothing connecting the lights to the grid directly. That's something that I just don't think I would ever really be able to see anywhere else. Uh, it's really a new technology that's pretty cool. We're literally learning about in class, you know, hydroelectric power, um, wind power, etc. and we were able to see it. Being mechanical engineering, I think it's really important that I'm educated in renewable energy. Um, I'm really excited that I went to this and saw a facility that is cutting edge because now I believe that I can go back to my home university and hopefully encourage other students to look into this more.